Welcome, dear friends, to another point of view. This is where we get to think of an insight related to the truth that we covered in our homily earlier in the week. And we are, we focused on the Alpha and the Omega as covenant keeper. And we looked very specifically at uh, Genesis 3.15 and talked about sin and the promise of God. The thesis of the sermon was in the garden, God promised to send a savior the seed of the woman, to crush evil and to save humankind. And in today's meditation, we see then that the Lord is a warrior. From the very beginning, he determined to make war against the enemies of creation and of his people. This motif of God as a warrior, bringing victory to his people, is everywhere through the Bible, perhaps even most clearly stated in 1 Corinthians 15, 57. But thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Through his resurrection from the dead, Jesus of Nazareth proved to be a warrior in the same sense that we see uh, this was spoken of when God brought his people out of Egypt and they sang the song uh, of after on the other side of the Red Sea, I will sing to the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. The horse and the rider he has thrown into the sea. The Lord is my strength and my song, and he has become my salvation. This is my God, and I will praise him, my Father's God, and I will exalt him. The Lord is a man of war, a warrior. The Lord is his name. Praise God in the sending of Jesus of Nazareth to earth. God has triumphed over sin and death for all who believe. 